Amsterdam is my kind of city because you can walk and bike everywhere. Everything is really compact and there aren't too many cars, which makes it a really eco-friendly city as well. There are so many beautiful canals. I mean, you've heard a lot of things about Amsterdam, but you may or may not realize how beautiful it is. And there's all these amazing canals to walk along. You can see there's just the locals bike everywhere. All ages, all different people just bike. We park a lot along the canals. And um, what's funny is we were, we've been here for the, some of the big World Cup games. And last night coming back, there were some people that were looking a little wobbly on their bikes. And we asked the people at our hotel if people ever crash or they fall off. And they said that sometimes people actually bike right into the canal when they've had too much to drink. So <laughs> walk all you want, bike all you want, but do be careful because the canals are everywhere. So if you've been to Amsterdam, you'll realize that it's not the hugest city in the world. And there are so many houses for everybody. So one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of the houses are quite narrow. And because of that, the stairs are often very narrow. Even the restaurants we've gone into um, will curl around, and the, the, the area to walk is very small. So what we learned today is that in order to get furniture up into these houses, it's lifted up um, on the hooks, which are on the top of the building. So if you look on the top of each house, at the very top, you'll see a hook. And when the, um, the twine, or rather the thick rope, is is um, hooked around or slotted around the hook, that's how they lift up all the furniture into the house because they can't bring it up through the stairs. So I thought that was really interesting and when we started to walk around Amsterdam and actually look, we started to see these hooks on top of every single house. So, a little cool architecture fact about Amsterdam. Amsterdam or anywhere where I'm traveling really, if we have a difficult time finding somewhere to eat, it is always easy to find something at a Mexican restaurant. What I got here today, um, it's a little messy because I've been eating it for a while. It's actually on the menu. I just ordered a larger portion. Mexican salad, which is all different greens and tomatoes and cucumber, um, some avocado uh, or guacamole rather, and some beans. and. Fantastic. I asked for it to not come with dressing. Just I got some extra salsa and even some more guacamole on the side. And it's really filling and really um, delicious and large. So, you know, if you're ever in a place where it's, it's difficult to get some of the local food that you want, here in Amsterdam, a lot of the local Dutch food is centered around um, dairy and, and bread and meat and things like that. Um, some of the restaurants do have amazing vegetarian dishes, but I felt like having a huge salad and we found this little Mexican place and it's working out great. So we're down in the flower market here in Amsterdam, which is this amazing, overwhelming um, display of all these different bulbs and seeds and everything you can get from tulips to so many different types of flowers. You may realize or not that a lot of cut flowers come from the Netherlands, um, Holland, Holland, um, some of the districts within the Netherlands. It's quite famous for flowers. Even when you walk the streets, there's flowers everywhere, um, across the little bridges, lining the canals, next to all the homes. It's so vibrant and colorful and beautiful. It really adds to the beauty of the city. So coming to see the flower market is really special and to see all these different flowers. I think they're really um, interesting looking. They almost look like uh, unwrapped onions. <laughs> so um, it's amazing to think that these have the potential to be green. These beautiful huge flowers just remind us of the power of nature. So by the flower market. famous for tulips, and as you can see behind me, a lot of the tulip bulbs look like shallots. I had no idea that there were so many types of tulips, but I love their names. Some of them are the this one's called Queen of, Queen of Night, and I love them all the So there are many different types of tulips, and we source a lot of them here in the Netherlands, and so many different beautiful again, colors and varieties. Here in Amsterdam, 
Amsterdam and of course are checking out all the restaurants and healthy options. And I'm very happy to say that we found an amazing vegetarian restaurant called Golden Temple, pretty close to our hotel. And we had a mix of cooked and raw food, 90% organic, beautiful decor inside, nice music, upstairs and downstairs seating. So if you happen to come to Amsterdam, I definitely recommend looking up Golden Temple Restaurant. Liked it very much. We are also looking around for some juice and smoothie bars. Um, there aren't too many around. Um, there is one that we found called Light Dark, which looks more like a coffee bar. Um, they also have some very interesting um, bottles with uh, some ladies and things. Um, you know, again, I'm very happy to see that there there is one in the area. Um, I tried to order a smoothie. I would say it's more of a hybrid between a juice and a smoothie. It was very, very thin. Um, you know, it's hard when you're used to getting GGS, which is really packed with greens and nutrition. We're not always going to get that abroad. So you have to be flexible. Um, there's also a lot of dairy on their menu and yogurts and, and not the best um, combined smoothies and dishes. So I can't say that I um, necessarily recommend this juice bar at all um, or that I would ever come back. But again, if you go to Golden Temple, they have some juices on their menu and um, some really great smoothies as well. So it's great that there is this, you know, there are some places around Amsterdam that you can um, find and source and hopefully more um, juices and smoothie bars will come um, as well to the area. And what's also great is a lot of other restaurants offer um, offer vegetarian dishes in so-called regular restaurants. So there's a great openness here in Amsterdam in many ways, and I hope that you know more vegetarian and vegan options keep growing, growing in the city. So in Amsterdam, there are thousands and thousands of bikers. A lot of people have bikes that don't have cars, and so because of that.